Hey YouTubers, this is Bobby G, also known as Bobby at Gloss. I'm the old dude that collects vintage Hollywood autographs and movie memorabilia, trying to keep the flame alive. And I've been going through my autograph collection because I'm going to be liquidating a lot of it and selling it in my store. And I thought I'd go through and show you a little bit about who I have. Um, I'm picking up today with AC, Aquanetta. Does anybody know? Aquanetta? Aquanetta. I was fascinated with her when I found her in a book called Scream Queens. Look at these poses, man. Crazy good poses, right? And what a beautiful signature. Keep in mind, I had no idea who she was when I was reading Scream Queens. I was just like, those are great pictures. So what I did was I tracked her down, I found her in Arizona, and I sent her pictures from the book, right? I cut out pictures like this one from Tarzan and the Leopard Man. And this one, like from Jungle Woman or Captive Woman. Check out that signature, right? Pretty good signature. This one, Aquanetta, what a name. I'm totally down with Aquanetta. So on to AD, Deborah Adair. Deborah Adair, quite a reliable actress. 70s and 80s was her heyday. Uh, I think Dynasty was like her big role, but I loved her TV movie, Rich Men, Single Women, co-starring Suzanne Somers and Heather Locklear. I've got stories on both of those ladies coming up for you too. Ah, shoe phone, shoe phone. Would you believe Don Adams from Get Smart? He was a great guy, such a good signer. He signed everything that I sent to him. He even inscribed, would you believe? Bobby, would you believe? Check that out. Oh, also, <laughs> this is a great picture, right? Classic. The shoe phone. Loved when he used to break out the shoe phone as Maxwell Smart on Get Smart. Love that guy. He was so good with fans. Ah! Remember this? Remember this? When she blew everybody out. Told on everyone. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Brooke Adams. I met her in San Francisco at the Curran Theater when she was doing Lost in Yonkers with Mercedes McCambridge. I have good Mercedes McCambridge stories, too. Um, oh, and here's, a, here's an index card and another picture. I think this is from her Days of Heaven... Uh, Days with uh, Richard Gere. Ah, oh, so pretty. I loved. Not a big, not a big, huge movie star, but Edie Adams, so cute, so pretty. She was, she was in a couple of movies like Lover Come Back. Uh, it's a mad, mad, mad world. She was Ernie Kovacs' wife, and um, she had a couple of albums that I actually liked. But she was just such a wonderfully sweet, nice presence on TV when I was growing up. I really liked her a lot. Also, another sweetheart, um, Julia Adams from Creature from the Black Lagoon. She is so nice. I've met her at a couple of conventions, and um, she she's so sweet. Oh, here's a here's a latter day a latter day uh, photo of her. And uh, when I met her, I was said, "Hey, you know what? I have this picture from uh, the movie Slim Carter. Do you have this? If I made a copy for you, you can have it if you sign this for me." And she did. She was so very sweet. Check this out. This is, this is when movies actually did have fantastic artwork. Look at that artwork for Creature from the Black Lagoon. It's crazy good, right? I like the signature too. Oh, and I got her book when I met her. Boop, boop. Sorry, Blair. Got the book when I met her. Signed. Oh, that was a Creature from the Black Lagoon DVD that came with it. Julia Adams. Real nice sweetheart. Oh, and for you James Bond fans... Maud Adams, with a little bit of nipplegate coverage there. But she was the Bond girl in two movies, Man with the Golden Gun and Octopussy. Love her. Okay, this one. Isabella Gianni. Whew, such an amazing actress. As far as I'm concerned, she really can't do anything wrong. I loved her in, um, in Nosferatu, uh, which was a great vampire movie with... Uh, Klaus Kinski, and in Queen Margot, fantastic, and also in Diabolique or Diabolique with Sharon Stone. It was kind of cheesy remake, but love her. She can do no wrong in my eyes. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end with AD. My last of the ADs is Iris Adrian. Now, Iris Adrian, I see this picture like in an old movie magazine. I track her down because I've seen her in Richard Lamparski's Whatever Became Of. I send her this, and she sends me this other picture. She was an all-around comedian, character actress, um, 30s and 40s, and, you know, I would just send things like 
that picture and maybe one index card, maybe two index cards, maybe a cheesecake photo, because they had so many, whoa, let me get these, so many cheesecake photos that they did back in the day. But then she would send me things like, I love when they do personal collection photos. Here's her with Bob Hope. And I love this one, dancing with George Rath. But anybody, can you please tell me, Bobby, have a great life. Can anybody explain? Can anybody explain <laughs> what is going on here for the lipstick application? Those appendages look like something in a specialty movie, which isn't for YouTube audiences. Anyways, there you go. There's a second series of uh, my binders. That's just through AD. I'll pick up next time with Ben Affleck. Um, thank you so much for having an attention span to watch something for five minutes. Everybody expand your attention span and watch an old movie. Let's keep old Hollywood alive. Until then, uh, until next time that is, I am Bobby at Gloss and uh, look for some items that will be in my store for sale soon. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time as we lead off with Batman, hmm, Ben Affleck.